Resisting the unclean habit of masturbation. The stroking or rubbing of the genital organs, commonly resulting in an orgasm. Whew. What's up, brothers and sisters? Good to see you again. This is actually an older topic. I just didn't talk about it or have a chance to cover it or for whatever reason didn't talk about it when it came out. It's the Pillowgate Masturbate video from the Jehovah's Witnesses. It's a little bit older and I figured during COVID-19, why not talk about some shit that already happened? Because this, this shit is mind blowing. Like the first time I saw that video, I couldn't believe I was seeing or hearing what they were talking about. It's old, but I had to do a reaction video on it. Does a person have to use their hands to masturbate? For example, say a brother wears an undergarment that's so tight it rubs his penis as he moves around. He gets aroused and even ejaculates. Is he masturbating? Yes, he is. This man brought back my virginity. Does there have to be an orgasm for it to be considered masturbation? This homie is talking like he blasted in his pants. Suppose a brother starts rubbing his genitals against a pillow. He gets an erection, but stops before having an orgasm. Is he masturbating? Yes, again, because he's deliberately stimulating himself, whether he has an orgasm or not. How would he know about this pillow thing unless he'd experienced it himself? That's, that's the only way you would know. How about having an emission of semen at night, maybe even after an erotic dream? Is that masturbation? No. Jehovah made that a part of a man's reproductive system, and it happens without any deliberate stimulation. But even so, when this happens to you, it would be good to examine whether you were dwelling on sexual thoughts before going to sleep. Could you have been sleeping in a position that stimulated you, such as with a blanket or pillow held tightly between your legs? Someone who never came in their life, they wouldn't know about this. Or wearing tight underpants, or laying on pillows when you receive an erection. Therefore, since we have these promises, beloved ones, let us cleanse ourselves of every defilement of flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. So Jehovah wants us to cleanse ourselves of anything that defiles our spirit. In other words, anything that contaminates our mental attitude. But in a nutshell, the video is basically warning against wearing tight pants, not laying on top of pillows or rubbing yourself against the pillow. Even if you don't come, if you don't bust a nut, it's still considered masturbation. Masturbation contaminates a man with selfishness, it weakens his self-control, and it makes him believe that sex doesn't have to be related to love. It also fills a Christian with guilt. And the idea behind this with cults and cults in general, the reason why they withhold masturbation and a lot of like having sex with other members and stuff is because they want to have everyone so wound tight that your only direction and release is by recruiting other members and working your face off and giving back to the cult leaders. Just another sick, twisted form of controlling people. And the only way that these brothers would know about it, to warn about it, is if they bared the mayonnaise in their pants themselves. Who would I like to do to these men? Don't let yourself become contaminated with pornography. Satan's world is in love with it in all its forms. But as you know, pornography in any form is not tolerated at Bethel. How do you, I just, I don't understand. How do you come home to your wife? Because obviously you can only have a wife if you're, you know, not LGBTQ in the community. I'm straight, but this dude, if it was me, if I came home to my wife, how do you come home to your wife and explain, this is what I gave to Jehovah today? <sighs> just because you fucked your pillow, that doesn't make her your girlfriend either. If you haven't seen Big Mouth, you should go see it. Fucking great. Great shit. And when you see the pillow reference on Netflix, you'll be dying. Take precautions to keep yourself as far away from its path as possible. Think of the following situation. While in the bathroom, a brother starts browsing through a list of recommended pictures and videos on a social media app on his phone, 
he comes across provocative pictures of men or women. Some may be topless and some may be nude. He doesn't tap on them, but he does keep looking and starts to masturbate. Now, did this brother truly stumble upon pornography by accident? Or could it be that he was browsing in a place where he actually hoped to find something sexually arousing? God, if you can't even masturbate, like fuck. Yo, I remember growing up as a Jehovah's Witness, you can't masturbate, you can't have a girlfriend, you can't put it in her mouth, like stupid shit. I mean, my advice now is like, you know, put it in her mouth, at least she won't get pregnant. Maybe it would be best for him not to use the internet while isolated from others. What precautions can you take to avoid such a situation? He needs to work on hating what is bad. This, this man is dead ass the god of the virgins when two virgins collide. It says, neither go on presenting your bodies to sin as weapons of unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as those alive from the dead. Also your bodies to God as weapons of righteousness. Did you notice that a person can present their body to sin or they can present it to Jehovah, but not both at the same time? Yes, sir. If you didn't know already, I'm agnostic atheist and I was born and raised as a Jehovah's Witness. I got onto pioneering and which means I'm not a big fan of the Bible to begin with because the scriptures that they're using are obviously abusive form of control and they're abusive as a way of being abused even if you are Christian like if you're Christian you can see that they're abusing these scriptures but if you're like me agnostic atheist you believe the whole Bible is full of bullshit because there's plenty of scriptures being abused on not only that but slavery using women as sex slaves rape raping these women forcing women to marry their rapists on top of that the thousands of contradictions that are in the Bible Jesus's story is told four times in the Bible but each time it's different and when he wakens and risens, there's different amounts of people there. Sometimes his door to his tomb is open, sometimes it's not. The next time they speak, the conversation goes further and becomes sexually explicit. Now, both start masturbating while connected, but without exposing themselves to one another. Now, obviously, at this point, both need to get help from the elders because their conversations are becoming more and more unclean. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the Jehovah's Witnesses, they believe that Satan, the devil, controls not only your family, but the entire world. So what he does is he controls the governments, the media, the police, the news. So anything that has to do with something that's not in the Jehovah's Witness bubble, same as the Mormons, same as the... Scientologists and the Unification Church and Seventh-day Adventists is they have their own bubble and they demonize everything on the outside. Only their material on the inside is good to consume. So they're, of course, going to demonize masturbation because what do you use for masturbation? Porn. Or uh, when you're 13, you know, you're just, your dick goes up and it's like you're becoming a human being. You're becoming an adult and you're hitting puberty. That's normal. So just like... You know, when you're getting that wet, wet, and you're 13, or you're getting that dong, dong, you got to fucking do what you got to do. Pornia is sexual relations involving persons not married to each other. It includes acts such as oral sex, anal sex, and masturbating another person. It always involves deliberate manipulation of the genitals. And they're demonizing that to restrict any form of pleasure. This is a control technique and it's bullshit. They're using the scriptures to demonize the world. They use the scripture in Romans to not be molded by the world, but prove to themselves that the perfect will of God is the only way to live. And that's just, it's controlling manipulation and telling a child that the child can't be themselves, telling the child to ignore their body and suppress their feelings and emotions, which is not healthy. And ultimately telling the child that they are not good enough unless they live up to these impossible standards, which is also, they're all signs and forms of manipulation and control to make people feel less like people and reliant on a higher source, which extorts them for money, which is religion. For example, a brother sits on the lap of one of his male friends. His friend puts his arm around his waist 
and at one point fondles his crotch over his clothes. Is that pornea? Although the second man didn't go as far as masturbating the first, he is deliberately stimulating his genitals. Because there is fondling, caressing, stroking, or rubbing involved, this act constitutes pornea. What are the following situation? Two brothers masturbate in front of each other, but without touching each other. Is it pornea? The answer is no, since neither is touching the other person. However, it is a flagrant disregard for Jehovah's laws and a serious sin that has to be addressed by the elders. You have to fight against homosexual behavior. You've surely noticed that we've mentioned several situations involving homosexuality throughout this talk. Why do you think that is? Satan is desperately promoting this perverted practice. It's no exaggeration to say that he's flooded his world with propaganda in favor of homosexuality. It's not realistic to think that you can't be affected by his efforts just because you serve at Bethel. At times, you may find yourself struggling with same-sex desires, such as when you're in the locker room. Are you always modest, even in front of your roommates? Do you have the habit of excessively touching other brothers, hugging them tightly, slapping their buttocks, rubbing them, giving them massages, and so on? Homosexuality is unholy and repugnant to Jehovah, and he will not tolerate it among his dedicated servants. I also like to add that they add in a shit ton of blaming the sisters for how they dress. I mean, I grew up with this going to conventions in San Francisco about them shaming the sisters of not wearing. I remember many times brothers getting up on stage and going, sisters, be careful about the dress that you're wearing, and it's so tight because it'll show every lump and bump that you have, and it's just so terrorizing for the brothers. Bitch, the sisters can wear whatever they want. For a dude to not control himself, like as a straight heterosexual male myself, like I might take a look because there's some curvy ladies out there, and that's just, you know, what I know, I'm attracted to what I'm attracted to. <sighs> to blame the sisters is just grooming them for future victim blaming. And that's the same what they do with their child abuse mandatory reporting abuse laws where they internally do not report abuse. They victim blame the victim to be quiet and then they tell the sister or the, the young child who was raped or molested to forgive and forget, which is all victim blaming and none of the elders are qualified. And if you haven't seen that video where I have elders and expose them for the internal policies that they are hiding where they say they protect children but they don't, I have links in the description below to some mind-blowing, explosive footage where I have elders that I grew up with admitting to it. It's bullshit, and it will piss you the fuck off. So with that being bullshit, like, go masturbate, have an orgasm, go chase your dreams, go watch that horror movie. Nothing's going to happen to you, and we all only live once. So make your stay here worthwhile. I'm getting messages about these things, the XJW bands. Freedom is worth it if I turn it around here so you can see it. Freedom is... Uh, worth it. Hopefully you can read that. And then on the other side it says XJW for X Jehovah's Witness. Something to be proud of for us as adults or teenagers or whenever you wake up. Good news are coming on the band so make sure you're subscribed and you follow me on TikTok and Instagram and Twitter recently for almost daily updates. And soon you'll be seeing a new type of video from me where it won't 100% be focused around Jehovah's Witness activism atheism, agnostic atheism, the activism that we're involved with. I've learned from getting, just recently hitting 10,000 followers on TikTok, you should come and hang out with me there, uh, that experimenting with other types of videos is actually a healthy thing to do and giving out more content, which is my goal, is to just give as much as possible to my brethren and, and my sister in out there. What do you think about adding a responding to comments in the last YouTube video section to my YouTube videos? If you see this and you made it this far in the video, you're a real OG. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. I mean, oral sex is basically the the new goodnight kiss. Fucking made out with Sid the Sloth in disguise. It's like trying to explain the flavor of coffee to a Mormon. When you receive an erection, I, I feel like I lost half the testosterone in my body by watching this video. If you've been involved in unclean or questionable conduct, seek help from the elders right away. 
We love you and want to help you get on a clean path again.